Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to show you one of the projects that I've been working on so that I can put it um, on my website. And I had been watching HSN and there is a famous designer and everybody loves her product. Names not be mentioned but she's my favorite designer I have to admit it. And if you guys know me and, and know who my favorite designer is you know who I'm talking about. But anyway, on the, the website, and it's all sold out, so it's not like I'm taking away from her thunder. I would never do that to Anna. Um, but anyway, she had these layered cards on there, and I fell in love with them, and I didn't call in soon enough to be able to get them, and I thought, well, I wonder if I could do this on my own. So, and you know, I'm going to open my blind to see if I can get more light in here. I had to turn the overhead light off because... It was making everything glare. Let's see if that helps any. I hope it does. And I'm standing behind the tripod, so if I tip it over, you'll know why. Um, but anyway, this was an idea that I had come up with via Anna. And basically, it's a bunch of layers. And you can see I had bent this one. Um, I'm just using it. I'm, I'm, these were like um, my prototypes. I'm using papers that I happen to have. But there's many different layers. So you have a colored layer, and then I have a white layer, and then I have a print layer. Let's see if I can get that lined up. And then another white layer, and another print layer. And please ignore the cuts because I need to put a new blade and a new mat on my machine. And then this one here was just like a, you know, the, what do they call those, um, why when I'm on camera I can't think, my words just go dead on me, you know, on the typewriter and then you can make these things with it, like parentheses, but there's a ch ch one. So then I made these for you guys, and this one said, I'm trying to get it in the light so you can see it better. Um, thinking of you today, I was thinking of you today, you can't see the I was for some reason there, I think you can see it better that way. So anyhow, that goes there, and you can center them, you can lay them to one side, however you want to do it. And what I did is, okay, so I have that, These are this is what comes with the kit. And then in my Pazzles Inspiration Studio, there was a picture of a butterfly, and like I said, things didn't cut well because I need to put a new blade on. But I just cut a basic butterfly, and I put that there. And then I have um, um, hearts that I cut out, and I was, I was going to use the hearts separately, and I thought, you know what? I bet you that will match in here. So I put the two hearts together inside the butterfly wings, and then I had these from a punch that I have, so I just laid those on there. And and you and I've got all kinds of designs on the website that you can go and get something like that. I can't copy that one because it's copyright, so I can't do that. Um, but anyway, then I have this one here with the Martha Stewart punch, because I, I didn't like the way that looked, so I just covered it with the Martha Stewart punch. And then I just grab some ribbons, you know, and I'm like I said, I'm just playing right now to show you. And like you can put ribbons like that, or you can get a ribbon and cut it down to size, and maybe split these so that you can make the little antenna, and then put this back on here, and snip that off. So that's one idea to put on top of a card. And I had some rickrack, and I thought you could even put rickrack if you wanted instead of the ribbon. Just giving you ideas. And then snip that off. And then put these on here. I kind of like that idea. But anyhow, that's one idea of many. So I'll take that one out of the way. And then this was another one. And as you can see, it's really busy in here. So this is my prototype, like I said. And it's the same thing. It's print, white, print, white, print. And then I have a happy birthday one on here. Um, somebody gave me something for Christmas. This was on it, so I kept it, and it matches really nice. I stuck that on there. And again, it's another one of these butterflies. It was on the Pazzles Inspiration Studio. But um, if I were to do this again, I would probably put a white background behind this or some color behind this because it's really busy looking and do the same thing with these hearts and then do the same thing like I just did with the other one. And I'm just trying to show you the different looks that you can get. Get my hands out of the way. 
and these are reversible. I mean, you can do it with the orange or you can do it with the red. I think the red makes it stand out more, so I'll put the red. And then another little flower on top. And this is the flower punch that I used for that one. Let me grab the, um, the swirl one so I can show you what punch that is. In case if you have it or you don't have it and you want it. This is what the swirl punch looks like. Um, trying to see who make paper shapers. And I picked this up at Ross Dress for Less. I believe that's where it was at. And I think I paid like 2 or $3 for it. So, really cool. And these are some of the other tags that I made. I'm trying to find a way to get this so you can see it. It says, I love you. Here's another one. Um, happy Anniversary. Here's another one with Deepest Sympathy. And you'll be able to use your pen tool to do these or... If you don't have a pen tool, you can always print these out and do a print and cut if you know how to do that. So that's that particular one. And they're all basically the same. Now this one is without the white background, so I, I was going to show you, you don't have to use the white paper. It depends on how much it contrasts. So in this particular one, I think it contrasts okay. And in fact, I think I'm going to turn it this way because that's the way the birds are facing. So we'll do that. And this here was something I had left over. I didn't like the way that it looked. So I just turned it upside down to make it white. So you can do that too. And if you're hearing me sniffling, it's my sinuses. And again, it's the same thing. It's the butterfly. And I put the two hearts. And in this case, I'm trying to remember what I did with this. Ha ha ha. I think I put a couple of leaves. These are, I think, punches from Martha Stewart. And then I think I stuck something like that in the center. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. You know, and I've got flowers like this if you want to put flowers or um, whatever. But where I got this from was a kit. I was at a crop at Michael's, and these are tags that will be included also if you want to use something like this, and then you can weave ribbon through the back of it and put something like that on it. This will all be included in the file, except for the punches. Um, but that particular paper pack, I hope I still have, yeah, I do. <laughs> These were discounted last year at um, Michael's after the Christmas season was over. And I think I got it for like 80 or 90% off. And as you can see, some of these are very generic. So this, I had this whole paper pad. I kept the Christmas stuff together, but I pulled out the stuff that was less Christmassy. Like, for instance, this plaid. The plaid was in the pack, but, you know, you can use plaid for other things. So I had two packs that were very similar. And I put the two packs together. That's probably a loose piece of paper, yeah. There's a design on it. You can't see it on the camera. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is what I did when I cut all this stuff out. As you can see, there's barely any space left. So, this was a white sheet. This was a white sheet. This was a tag, tag, tag. And if you're going to make those tags with the writing on them, do the writing first and then cut the tag. It'll work better that way. And I'm such a, a cheapo. I use these things, like if I have some space left over, I get in here and I use up my paper. And you never know when you're going to need a white flower because you can color a white flower. So, and then I have a little container. See, that's not going to fit in there, but it will plug. Yes, it will. I got it. Okay. And then I take this whole thing and it goes in the garbage and I don't feel so guilty. I'll probably even cut something out of that. But I don't feel so guilty about it. And um, I'm getting good use of my paper. And if you get too many of these little things and you don't know what to do with them, if you know of a pre-K teacher, believe me, they can use them. I used to be a pre-K teacher. And we set up centers for the kids. We make art centers for them. And we're not supposed to tell them what to do with the stuff. You just put the markers and little things like this and doodads and art paper and glue. And they just go to town. They have a ball with that stuff. So, I just wanted to show you 
this is what you'll be able to do with the new file once I get it posted and I'm going to pick up my tripod and show you that these are some of the combinations oh, I'm on the tripod I can't get in here my chair is in the way um, sorry about that here we go so these are some of the combinations that I came up with and everything's color coordinated because it all came out of the same paper pack and now like I said there was one more paper pack but all the colors seemed to match they were all compatible and you know I was just playing with these I'm not going to do it this way but like I said I was just playing with it I kind of like this I think that's kind of pretty and I take this flower off of here of course and then I'd probably put some kind of a tag in there, like thinking of you with the ribbon going through it. But these will go on um, folded um, 8.5 by 11 cards. So here's, I'm sorry, I bumped the thing. Here's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, which I folded in half. And then I'd be able to take something like this. I'd be able to put it on top. And you've got a nice card topper. And my other suggestion to you is when you go to do the inside, some of you are stampers, some of you aren't, I would just take a sheet of paper like this and put it on the inside and then take another sheet of paper and you can put it backwards. And that's where you can do your stamping or whatever you want to put on there or verses. And eventually I hope to come up with some verses to go with these. And then that way you can either print them out and then cut them out, or you'll be able to use your pen tool to print them out and then cut them out. So that's what I've been working on in between my mother being in the nursing home in the hospital. And some people were saying, well, just let all this go, you know, concentrate on your mother. And I really appreciate your sentiments, and I do focus on my mother. She comes first in, well, my husband, God comes first in my life. My husband comes second in my life, and my mother, actually, he, she's a real, real, real close. She's right on my husband's tail there, <laughs> and so, you know, as far as who comes first in my life. But when I am stressed out, this is a way for me to de-stress. And there's one more thing that I wanted to show you. Um, this particular font, um, you have to say thank you to Leslie from Pazzles. Leslie, I'm sorry, I can't think of your last name right now. I wish I could think of it offhand, and for some reason, it's just blank in my mind. But she's on the Pazzles uh, craft room, and she does great work, and she's like I am. She likes to share her stuff. Um, what's the point in making all this stuff if you can't share it? And speaking of that, I need to make kind of a little bit of an announcement here. I've been giving everything away from for, for free, and I still will. Like, I'm going to give this away for free, but I may have to start charging for some of my stuff, not because I want to. I was giving things away to bless others because I was blessed and I wanted to share. Well, it looks possibly like my husband might be losing his job. I'm not working. I'm looking for work. And as much as I love this house and everything, we might be making a move in order to find jobs. Um, unfortunately, he has a work situation right now. He has a brand new boss who's come in like a tornado. And he can't seem to do anything to please her no matter how much he does. She wants more. And it is just nerve-wracking. So we... I. I'm looking. I, I'll probably, if we have to relocate, I'd probably be the one to relocate first. And that will be settling in time. And I'm hoping, if that's the case, that I'll be near my mother. So, anyway, um, I may have to start charging for some of this stuff. I hate doing that. Um, I don't want to do that. But we may be needing a source of income sometime in the near future. But that is all in God's hands. And I leave it up to Him. And I need to stop this right now because... I'm about to hit 26 minutes of recording. I can't believe I did that. I don't even know if it's going to upload. I may have to do the whole thing all over again. But um, if I hope to get this posted by Valentine's Day, and if I do get it before Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. And if it's after Valentine's Day, have fun with St. Patty's Day. But these cards can be used for anything. Um, this is holiday paper, but you could use Easter paper. You could use whatever paper you have. Use it from paper pads. And I actually pulled some of the papers I'm not all that crazy about. And that way I get to use them up. And there is um, another thing that I'm going to put on the site. It's not something that I made. It's something that somebody else made. And it's a card organizer. 
And so what I'll do is post their site with the measurements, and then that way you can go in and follow their instructions, and you can make a card organizer. You can throw out a bunch of these cards and give them as a gift. So anyway, signing off at 24 minutes, or actually I guess it's going down. I don't know what this thing is doing. I don't understand my camera. Anyway, talk to you later.